Okay, so we are back home. I am surrounded by packages and I'm so excited to finally get into this. I've had packages around my house for a couple of weeks now because I was just kind of gathering up everything uh, as things were being shipped at different times and coming from different places. So we have everything I should need here and more <laughs> for my new host Emporia to arrive very, very soon. So I wanna kind of sh give you a kind of lowdown of everything that I have here. Um, a lot of this stuff is from my sponsors. I'm very lucky to have a lot of uh, amazing brands that believe in what I do. Uh, and thanks to you guys as well, I'm able to receive a lot of these products through them. I think we should just stop talking and get into it because I'm so excited to finally start to unwrap some of these things. And I think I wanna start off with some of the Kingsley stuff that I got. Um, for Emporia. As you guys know, everything I do with leather is Kingsley, uh, whether it's my boots, my bridles, my saddles, I think they're absolutely amazing. They have great products, they look great, um, and they're also very, very nice. So I think we should start off firstly with this. Um, okay, let's put that to the side because it's huge. So we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here. There's a lot. So we have a altar in here. Uh, a leather halter. It's good to have a spare for Emporia as well. So we have one leather halter from Kingsley here. Then I also got from Kingsley a full size uh, saddle cloth, which is kind of like this like um, satiny material, but it's really, really nice. Uh, so I think black will actually look quite good on him as well. Then I got this kind of gel oh my god this would be great for, this is like great asmr material um i got this kind of like gel numna to put underneath the saddle uh which i think will be good for emporia especially because he is a bit obviously he's quite young so he's not he won't have the strongest back um and the texture is quite sticky so that makes sure the saddle doesn't slide anywhere oh my god the first peel is always the most exciting Ooh, so that's, so that's how that looks. So I'm really excited to try that out and see how that fits. Interesting sounds. <laughs> so we can pop that there. Next we have Emporio's Girth, which is from Kingsley as well. Uh, and it's got this great system that spreads the pressure uh, very evenly. And then I also have a sheepskin cover that I also got for him. So this is how the girth looks normally. Leather, it's very good. It's, this is the same growth I have for Chase. Uh, and we are also, uh, this time, instead put a sheepskin cover on it. And I think I'm gonna do that with Chase too because this just feels so much more comfortable. So I think that'll be, um, that'll be really good to have the Chase as well. Now looking in here as well, I've got a, a leather lead for the black leather halter from Kingsley. And then finally, I've got some uh, stirrup leathers, and the stirrup leathers uh, are obviously to go with my brand new saddle, oh, which is up here, which is also from Kingsley. Uh, for the people who are interested, this model is called the D2. Uh, obviously, this is a dressage saddle. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's very awkward to try and show a saddle on from on the ground. Uh, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. The leather is really good. The fit on uh, Chase's saddle is already uh, amazing. So I know that this is kind of the same brand. I want to go down the same path with, with Emporio. Um, it's a very lightweight saddle. So it's got much smaller knee rolls than the one I have on Chase. And I think this shape is gonna be uh, much more uh, well suited to Emporio. But I'm obviously gonna have the Kingsley saddle fitter, Hans come out, fit everything, make sure everything's fitting nicely. Uh, but I think we're definitely onto a winner with this saddle and it just Has a brand new smell as well, which is very 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 exciting. So put that down Next let's keep going with Kingsley This is so exciting. I finally get to unwrap everything So let's take out firstly The bridle And this bridle is just so beautiful. So I got this kind of like all black patent bridle from Kingsley. Um, it's got like dark kind of black chrome Zrovskis, but you can't really tell on camera maybe. Um, but it looks really, really nice. And I think it's just a little bit more masculine uh, than the normal Zrovskis. And then I got these very soft um, 
reins as well. And I thought it would go nicely with a wider piece, anatomical nose band, and an anatomical, uh, and <laughs> that's the word, an anatomical headpiece as well. So I think this is gonna look absolutely amazing on Emporio, uh, and I can't wait to see what he looks like with this on. Okay, what else do we have? What, what should we hit next? Maybe, let's just go through everything I bought from Devosa real quick, just to give a, a quick recap. So I obviously have um, this brush kind of bag from them. And inside that we have, we ended up going with these boots from, uh, from I think it's Verdis. Verdis, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, uh, but we ended up getting a large for the front and a large for the back. The large in the back they didn't have, so they're gonna ship to me. It should be coming either tomorrow or the day after that. They're very fast. Uh, so we ended up getting those. We got a medium sized bell boot because I like to use bell boots, especially with horses that have shoes on. And then for my little grooming kit, I got a hoof pick, a brush, a kind of main brush. I like these a lot. This is good to kind of like Clip the man if you have to plait, which we'll, we'll have to plait a lot with Emporio, and then a, a rubber curry comb. And then last but not least for a stable, I thought it'd be nice to get a salt lake. So you guys should have seen that all happening at the store. So we can move all of this aside over there. Thank you for joining us. And then let's see what else we got from Devosa. So I also got a few extra things from Devosa. Um, I got a... Uh, I got a sheepskin rug from them, uh, which will be very good as we're going in between weather still. And Emporio is from Spain, uh, so he is used to warmer weather than we have here in the Netherlands. Put that over there. And then up top here we have another rug for Emporio. It is, how many grams is this actually? I'm not sure. Let me check. It doesn't have grams, it's actually just a rain sheet. So we have this rain sheet for Emporio as well. So this will be keeping him nice and dry um, in this terrible, terrible weather that we have in the Netherlands. So we can put that down. Now, behind me, we have a few more bags from our Devosa adventure. And so in here we have a halter we got, just here, uh, with a lead rope. So we can leave that over there. And I think that's it for this bag. And then we have another bag behind me. So let's see what we have in here. So we have kind of the lunging cavison. And I think this is something I'm definitely gonna be using a lot on Emporio as he starts to figure his own feet out on him by himself. I think that's, this is gonna be really good for him. Uh, so we'll pop that over there. I got him a camel rain sheet as well. I think that's it for that bag. Uh, I got him a camo rain sheet as well because I actually had never really seen camo that much in rugs and I thought it'd look cool. Um, and it's always good to have an extra rain sheet just in case the other one uh, gets really wet or you need to wash it. So that one is going to be excellent. Now, this is getting to the... I don't know if you guys can... I don't know if you guys can see me if I go up here. Um, but this is getting to the exciting bit. So I've got a lot of boxes from Blue Horse and as you guys know, I really, really like them. So we're gonna go through this first. I got a variation of care products, supplements, everything from them. So I'm curious to see what we actually have in here. Okay. Okay, so let's see. We have a big jug. So this is multi-feed. Highly concentrated vitamin and mineral supplements. So this will be good as a little extra as he's coming along. And we have another big kind of jug from them as well. And this is the multi-feed. Oh, they gave me two. So again, highly concentrated vitamin and mineral supplements. So we have two. So maybe one I can actually keep the chase because I don't think Emporia will be needing all of this. Perfect. Okay, let's have a look at the next blue horse one. Oh God. Okay, let's open it from this side. Okay, so once we get past all the packaging, they really want to make sure nothing breaks. <gasps> Ooh, okay, we've got a lot of stuff. I don't know how to do this. So we have some brushes that they've kindly sent me. And these actually, I have one, which I think is this one maybe for Chase. I have to smell everything. Um, which looks, which look like this. 
So I think this will be a great little extra addition to our grooming kit we already have. So I'm gonna be putting those in there. And then what else do we have here for employer? We have some hoof oil. Oh, they gave me two. Good, so we won't be running out. We have, oh good, the Super Shine, which I live by this product, it is so good. If you guys need a shining product, a detangling product, this is so affordable. And it's honestly the best one I've used, so I highly recommend this one. And then they gave me two deluxe shampoos, good. Uh, I go through these very quickly, not because you have to use a lot, but because I wash my horses. Um, not often, but frequently, uh, not too frequently because I don't want to strip the hair of any uh, oils. Uh, but these, this is such an inexpensive shampoo and it's so, so good. So I would highly recommend it. It smells, oh, it smells so good. So if you guys are looking for a good affordable shampoo, I definitely recommend the Deluxe Shampoo from Blue Horse. Let's see what else is in here. Oh my God, this sponge. So I've actually already opened uh, one of these packages and it had one of these sponges for Chase. Um, and it's a bit of like this textured side and then obviously the normal sponge side and it works really really well when washing them So if you guys want to pick one of these up, they're also very very good Now what else do we have in here? Oh, I think this one's for Bear, the white matinee. Oh actually no, of course, Bear's also got a grey tail Wow, they thought about this more than I did so This will be to get rid of all the stains in the in the grey tail uh, of Emporio So this will actually work really really nicely because for Bear that does a really good job now we have a few more things in here. We have the magnesium. Magnesium is always a good supplement for horses. I'm gonna pop that over there. And then we have Top Flex, which is optimal support for horses' joints and musculoskeletal system. So this will be good, just a good joint supplement for Emporio and Chase to have. They will both be sharing that for sure. And what else do we have in here? That way. We have Oh, the same, perfect. So I'll get to also share that with Chase. Great, so they couldn't have one each. Perfect, okay, so that's some of the Blue Horse products done. Let's move them to the side. And now let's see what, what else we have behind me. I think we keep going with, um, with the Blue Horse stuff because we, we have quite a lot of this stuff. Let's see what's in this one. Oh. Oh, so nice how they always put so much time in their packaging because you don't want anything to get ruined or broken, especially when you have liquid. Put that all the way. Okay, what do we have in here? We've got a big, we've got a huge, mind you, not big, huge tub of, what is this? Muscle and build. Oh my God, I was talking to the team. I was talking to the team for so long about this um, and this is because I have a very young horse who is in the process of building muscle. He's a little bit weak still. So I think this is actually gonna be great to give to him as well to aid that and support him uh, in his training. So I think this is gonna be an excellent addition uh, to Emporio's diet as well. Okay, so behind me we have another box from Blue Horse. So let's have a look in here. From tape blue horse. Move all that aside. Okay, we have more stuff. So let's see this. We have uh, Omega Active Cold Press Linseed Oil, which is really good for your horse. So we have one of those. Also, I have in here the Energy Control Daily. Now, this is something that Obviously, as you guys have seen, I have a lot of supplements here and I can't be giving them all at the same time. I, I need to pick and choose and some things you, they can't be on all the time either. Uh, but this one is called the Energy Control Daily and it is stamina and balanced energy for daily use. And the team of Blue Horse actually told me that with a young stallion especially, it's good to give this just to get that cooler energy and take that kind of angst out of them a little bit. I think this is gonna be something that I definitely wanna give uh, a go with with Emporia and see if I do get any benefits out of as well. Uh, but I heard really, really great stuff, especially from other people that are using it and people that I know in the sport. So I'm excited to give this a go and see what the results are like. Okay, let's see what else we have. I think everybody's kind of anticipating the equestrian Stockholm package. So I'm gonna kind of wait to do that one a little bit later. I'm gonna open, I'm gonna go back a little bit so we can 
see a little bit more. This package is actually really sweet. Um, when I bought Emporio, um, I bought him through an agent in Spain called Natty. Uh, and she sent me a little kind of like, yeah, I don't know how to say it. Like almost like a, a good luck gift, let's say, for Emporio and I. And it's to kind of remind us of our home roots. <laughs> and that is a Spanish halter. And that looks so cool. And I already actually have one, so I'm glad I've got a spot now. And then to top that off, she also gave us a Spanish rug. And I think this one we will be wearing with pride. Very, very good. So thank you for that, Natty. And if you guys are interested in any of these, she also sells them. Um, so feel free to have a look at her page to see all of that. Now with this huge package and the biggest package of today from Back On Track. Now with Back On Track, I absolutely love their products. And for a very long time, I was thinking, okay, I want to make something for my followers or I want to make something cool with the brand and I didn't know who. And about almost two years ago, actually now, I started the conversation with Back On Track about doing a, a collaboration together. We were both mutually very interested. Uh, and I'm really excited to say that we've been working together for two amazing years and very very soon in maybe three or four months I'm gonna be coming out with a full collection with back on track which is gonna include uh, a halter, a rug, a blanket, uh, a saddle cloth, bandages and a bonnet. So that's gonna be really really exciting. I've been working so hard. We've been making sure everything is perfect. We've kind of done some firsts in the whole, in the equestrian world that have never been seen before. We've used some products that also have not really been on the market, uh, and I'm excited to bring you such a high quality product uh, at a, at a reasonable price, especially for this brand. So let's dive in and actually see what this brand is about. If you don't have any history with them, if you guys don't know anything about Back on Track. They basically work with these kind of like ceramics, well text technology uh, that helps the circulation of your horse and therefore improves uh, recovery and has a whole giant list of benefits. This is a huge, huge box. I'm not even sure where to start with this. So I see that they gave me some of their very famous bandage pads. You guys know I really like to bandage, so they gave me some white bandage pads. Oh my god, they gave me so much. So they gave me white bandage pads. So the bigger ones are obviously for the hind. And then they gave me some bandage pads also for the front. Very thankful for that. So we have black bandage pads and white bandage pads. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here. Oh my God. So, okay, this is one of my favorite products by Back on Track. It's called the Royal Quick Wraps. And these are great for the stables, they're great for traveling, they're great for everything. I use these for absolutely everything. I actually flew my horse from Australia with these on. So he had these on for more than 30 hours and they held up fine, they were perfect. So they gave us two pairs, one for the front, one for the back. Thank you so much for that one, guys. And let's see what else we have. Oh my God, these are so good. So I use these every day when I ride my horse. These are the back on track brush boots. So we have some extra brush boots here for Emporio. Let's have a look at what else we have. Oh, my knees are getting so hot. Oh, sit down, this box is huge. Now they also gave us some exercise boots. So these are more like um, they wrap around down uh, the leg. Uh, so these are also kind of like brush boots in a way. So exercise boots supreme with strike absorbent pad. So these will definitely be good for a young horse in training. <laughs> Um, and then I see that they also gave me some of their back on track bell boots and these are the structured bell boots uh, And that should prevent obviously any injuries from overreaching. So we have a few of those. They've given me two pairs We have some white brush boots as well. Oh my god. I just sent them a huge thank you again So they gave me uh, obviously the bigger ones for the hind and smaller ones for the front. So we have a brush I can't talk. Brush boot set in white and in black. So that's gonna look awesome. I'm excited to see how that's gonna look. Oh, and then they also gave me another pair of those other type of brush boots that do up underneath uh, as well. So that's gonna look perfect to have a whole set of those as well. Oh, I remember these. So I had these for Chase as well, but sadly I'd gotten the wrong size at the time. 
Uh, and these are the Royal Work Boots for anybody that is interested. And let me show you what they look out, look like outside of the packet. They are more of like this technical boot with like this higher, with this harder uh, outside. Uh, and these like clips that kind of do up like this. So when obviously the boot is undone, it looks like that with the Weltex inside. So these are actually gonna be great for Emporia as well. Wow, I'm so excited to try all this stuff on. This is great. Okay, let's put that back inside its little cover. And then now we have some rugs. Oh no, there's more. Okay, I was wrong. They also sent me a full set of those, so four boots of those as well. So that is uh, two for the front, two for the back. And that is of, of the, that's the hind leg of the Royal, that is the hind leg of the Royal Work Boot. So if you guys wanna check those out, they were very, very good when I had them on Chase. Sadly, I just, I bought the wrong size at the time. Oh my God, there's so much stuff. Okay, so Chase, I mean, yeah, Chase is actually a, a very similar size to Emporia when it comes to rug sizes. Emporia is 145, 195, uh, and which is 195, I think is six foot, six foot or six foot something. I don't really remember the thing. Six foot two, I don't know. I don't really remember how it works in, in feet. Um, but Emporia is just one size under, he's 145. What am I saying now? Chase is 205, Emporia is 195. That's basically it. So these are all the rugs for him. So they sent me the mesh rug, which will be great for the uh, warmer climates that will come very, very soon here as we approach spring and summer, uh, especially because we do have quite a lot of bugs here in the Netherlands and it's, it's nice to have something on them. And they sent me one in black and they also sent me one in green. And this is kind of new for backup track because they mainly only did black colors. Uh, but I see that now they're also doing green and I believe they also have a, a red, which is really, really nice. I've already seen that one out. So thank you guys for those. Uh, let me put that somewhere. There. And then they also sent me for this colder climates as well. This is... Okay, that's a lot. This, I always describe to everybody this rug as like a duvet. So it's called the Rug Frost. And it is made for very, very cold conditions. So I, I kind of use this. Yeah, you guys know I rug a bit heavier because my horse is from Australia. But I use this anytime it's like below five degrees. Um, I've also had this rug when it was like minus six-ish. And it was also holding up really, really well. It's waterproof and it feels so, so nice on the inside. So I'm glad I have one of these uh, to keep Emporia warm as well. This is gonna be really, really nice for him as well. So we're gonna put that down there. Uh, I wish you guys, in a second, I'm gonna show you what an explosion it all looks like here. Let me just pull that down a bit. Okay, now, last but certainly not least, I have a package from Equestrian Stockholm, which is very, very exciting, because as you guys know, I love this stuff. Such a great team. Um, so we have a few sets that they have sent me. So we have this first one, which is this like white with the black line going through it, which I think looks really nice and really clean, especially for a gray. Uh, and with those, they sent me um, the bandages to go with it, which are these ones. So you can see. And they also sent me a set in this kind of like olive green. And olive green is one of the most popular colors. They had to go back in stock and in seven minutes, it sold out. So very, very popular. Uh, and the olive green bandages to go with it. And then when I was on Instagram, I feel like everybody gets inspiration from Instagram now nowadays. I saw this kind of like um, Palomino horse wearing their leather brown and it looked so, so, so nice. So I asked if I could also have a leather brown set brought in. This one will be a little bit easier and clearer to see outside of the plastic. This is what the, the brown leather looks like. And it's got like this suede outside, which I think is really nice. Uh, so additionally to that, they've sent me brown bandages and also a, oh my God, I'm getting confused here. And also a brown bonnet, but they sent me two browns, like a normal brown and then a golden trimmed brown. They additionally also sent me some more bonnets, a black bonnet, a 
black bonnet, but it's got like a um, padding in the ears to kind of stop a bit of sound. So that'll be nice for Emporio if we go somewhere spooky. And then they also sent me, yeah, that olive green to go with the saddle pops as well. So I think that's everything. But I do see that they... Oh my god. I do see that they have sent me a note. And it says, Dear Matt, we hope that you and Emporio will like your new sets and we are looking forward to seeing it on your YouTube channel. Much love, TinaQuestRoots.com. So that's really, really sweet of them. Um, and I think we're actually nearly done. But I do want to give you guys a quick look around because my house, it's taken up like the main living room and we've exploded everywhere. The boxes, the products, this horse is clearly very, very spoiled already. Um, so I, I'm gonna show you guys around in a second. Okay guys, I was not kidding when I said that there was a lot of stuff here for Emporio, including all that stuff there. Um, so I'm gonna have to clean this all up. These are all the boxes that are just exploded everywhere. Uh, so we're gonna have to take care of all of that. I think I just cut out as I was telling you guys that I'm really thankful to have all these uh, sponsors and it is because of you guys. Obviously social media is a very big part of my life now. It is uh, a job in a way as well, even though it doesn't feel like it. Uh, so I'm really lucky and thankful to have all these things and to have this amazing horse that I'm so excited and looking forward to, to sharing with you guys. Cause I think this horse is really, it's kind of like a big project that we're all able to go through together so i'm definitely i definitely know it's going to be a big journey with him and there's going to be a lot of exciting things happening and i'm excited to share that with you guys as well until then i'm flying to portugal on friday uh and then sunday he gets on the truck and it's only going to take a few days and then he's going to be in the netherlands so early next week this horse is going to be here and i'm not ready for it <laughs> i'm not ready for it at all but i think uh, I have I'm as ready as I'm gonna be uh, and I just need to really start to understand that I do have a third horse and that he is coming So I'm gonna prepare myself for that and I'm gonna clean up this house because it's a mess uh, But I wanted to thank you guys so much for joining me uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Hopefully in Portugal. Bye. Bye